In genetics, shotgun sequencing, also known as shotgun cloning, is a method used for sequencing long DNA strands. It is named by analogy with the rapidly expanding, quasi-random firing pattern of a shotgun. The chain termination method of DNA sequencing can only be used for fairly short strands of 100 to 1000 base pairs. Longer sequences are subdivided into to smaller fragments that can be sequenced separately, and subsequently they are reassembled to give the overall sequence. Two principal methods are used for this, primer walking which progresses through the entire strand piece by piece, and shotgun sequencing, which is a faster but more complex process that uses random fragments. In shotgun sequencing, DNA is broken up randomly into numerous small segments, which are sequenced using the chain termination method to obtain reads. Multiple overlapping reads for the target DNA DNA are obtained by performing several rounds of this fragmentation and sequencing. Computer programs then use the overlapping ends of different reads to assemble them into a continuous sequence. Shotgun sequencing was one of the precursor technologies that was responsible for enabling full genome sequencing. Example. For example, consider the following two rounds of shotgun reads. In this extremely simplified example, none of the reads cover the full length of the original sequence, but the four reads can be assembled into the original sequence using the overlap of their ends to align and order them. In reality, this process uses enormous amounts of information that arrive with ambiguities and sequencing errors. Assembly of complex genomes is additionally complicated by the great abundance of repetitive sequences, meaning similar short reads could come from completely different parts of the sequence. Many overlapping reads for each segment of the original DNA are necessary to overcome these difficulties and accurately assemble the sequence. For example, to complete the Human Genome Project, most of the human genome was sequenced to 12x a greater coverage, that is, each base in the final sequence was present on average in 12 different reads. Even so, current methods have failed to isolate or assemble reliable sequence for approximately 1% of the human genome, as of 2004. Hierarchical Shotgun Sequencing Although shotgun sequencing can in theory be applied to a genome of any size, its direct application to the sequencing of large genomes was limited until the late 1990s, when technological advances made practical the handling of the vast quantities of complex data involved in the process. Historically, full genome shotgun sequencing was believed to be limited by by both the sheer size of large genomes and by the complexity added by the high percentage of repetitive DNA present in large genomes. It was not widely accepted that a full genome shotgun sequence of a large genome would provide reliable data. For these reasons, other strategies that lowered the computational load of sequence assembly had to be utilized before shotgun sequencing was performed. In hierarchical sequencing, also known as top-down sequencing, a low-resolution physical map of the genome is made prior to actual sequencing. For this map, a minimal number of fragments that cover the entire chromosome is selected for sequencing. In this way, the minimum amount of high-throughput sequencing and assembly is required. The amplified genome is first sheared into larger pieces and cloned into a bacterial host using Baxapax. Because multiple genome copies have been shared at random, the fragments contained in these clones have different ends. And with enough coverage finding a scaffold of BAC contigs that covers the entire genome is theoretically possible. 
This scaffold is called a tiling path. Once a tiling path has been found, the backs that form this path are sheared at random into smaller fragments and can be sequenced using the shotgun method on a smaller scale. Although the full sequences of the BAC contigs is not known, their orientations relative to one another are known. There are several methods for deducing this order and selecting the backs that make up a tiling path. The general strategy involves identifying the positions of the clones relative to one another and then selecting the least number of clones required to form a contiguous scaffold that covers the entire area of interest. The order of the clones is deduced by determining the way in which they overlap. Overlapping clones can be identified in several ways. A small radioactively a chemically labeled probe containing a sequence tagged site can be hybridized onto a microarray upon which the clones are printed. In this way, all the clones that contain a particular sequence in the genome are identified. The end of one of these clones can then be sequenced to yield a new probe and the process repeated in a method called chromosome walking. Alternatively, the BAC library can be restriction digested. Two clones that have several fragment sizes in common are inferred to overlap because they contain multiple similarly spaced restrictions sites in common. This method of genomic mapping is called restriction fingerprinting because it identifies a set of restriction sites contained in each clone. Once the overlap between the clones has been found in their order relative to the genome known, a scaffold of a minimal subset of these contigs that covers the entire genome is shotgun sequenced. Because it involves first creating a low-resolution map of the genome, Genome. Hierarchical shotgun sequencing is slower than whole genome shotgun sequencing, but relies less heavily on computer algorithms than whole genome shotgun sequencing. The process of extensive BAC library creation and tiling path selection, however, make hierarchical shotgun sequencing slow and labor-intensive. Now that the technology is available and the reliability of the data demonstrates, Demonstrated, and the speed and cost efficiency of whole genome shotgun sequencing has made it the primary method for genome sequencing, shotgun and next generation sequencing. The classical shotgun sequencing was based on the Sanger sequencing method. This was the most advanced technique for sequencing genomes from about 1995 to 2005. The shotgun strategy is still applied today, however using other sequencing technologies, called next generation sequencing. These technologies produce shorter reads but many hundreds of thousands or millions of reads in a relatively short time. This results in high coverage, but the assembly process is much more computationally intensive. These technologies are vastly superior to Sanger sequencing due to the high volume of data and the relatively short time it takes to sequence a whole genome. 